One moment, one moment, one moment. We, we got to prove a point, a very important point. If you want to play something that purely rewards strategic outplay, there's a game called Chess, a game called Go. And these games are very, very, very well designed for that. If you want to play Valorant at the highest level, strategy is very important. However, you're never going to get out of bronze if you can't click anybody. I could put the smartest heck in brain of Valorant inside of my grandma's head and she would be stuck in bronze and iron because she can't click people. The reason why I say aim doesn't matter is I'm saying like don't focus on mistakes in your aim when you're doing VOD review because you should already be practicing your aim every day. It's like imagine I was like your football coach, American football, and you like lose a play because you got like outstrengthed. Your Match coach is probably going to skip over that because you're already working out every day. So strength will come. Tough. Let's just talk about the strategy. That's the point of my VOD reviews. I really want to hone in the, on the strategic issues because that's what I'm good at. I'm a coach. You don't need me to teach you how to get good aim. I've already shown you. There's a hecking sick Warm playlist up. on my YouTube that I've worked with the best aimers in the world to create. I'm going to try hard one DM. One sec. No amount of strategy helps if I just click your ass. Like... What? What a dink. What's that killjoy gonna do, huh? She's gonna lose to me. Even if she outplayed me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Your strategy only matters if you can go toe to toe with me in a gunfight. And you can't. So what's the goddamn point? Doesn't matter. Trash. This guy can't even shoot me. I'm whiffing 50 shots in a row. Like, what are you doing? These people will never play ranked against me, even if they've got the same strategic mind, because they can't fight me. We'll go into 50-50s and I'll just kill them. You have to win your 50s 50% 50 of the time. I don't need you to hit every headshot, but I can't have you burning 14 bullets to kill two dudes who aren't even looking at you. And you know why you're not killing them? Because you're not practicing. You're ignoring your mechanics for no reason. You're just shoving them to the side as if they don't matter. They matter so goddamn much. Has this ever happened to you? Defenders win. We've all been there. But thanks to the generous members of the Knowers Club, not only can I help you get less of these, Defenders win. but you can even earn Valorant gift cards for successful improvement. All live on stream. Order now at discord.gg slash wuhujin or I'm taking the world to pipe. Don't try me. I'll do it. A Ganax. Brimstone on bind. Brimstone bind is so easy. Let's see it. I'm allowing, I'm going to allow a few brimstone bind VODs since it's been a long time. But there's like not much to think about for this pick. You double up in a lane on a weak side and you win. Perfect. So right now we're going to double up long with sky for sure let's see it yup flow chart online the only change now is this guy should be flashing through this tp if I out showers if they're hitting a all right all right some some there coming becoming bad okay you gotta keep this guy here you see how your sky is bailing this is bad <laughs> this is not good you don't need sight control and your sky doesn't seem to be on the same page as you with that you want you just need long control and you're bing chilling no. yeah so you want to your sky is backing up this is a problem with the pre-round you and your sky should be coming through here with the flash and fighting with the reina you also shouldn't be anchoring um against an eco round you should just be going like elbow and just like knife out join the dudes i don't want you getting blasted by like a cypher and there's no reason to take this space yeah 
Yo, what the hell? What? What is this? Sky, I'll play off you. What are we doing? The pre-fire? All right. You're trying to shoot off audio. But Jesus, dude. That's really bad. Also, you're fighting for both lanes. Launching smoke. What? Okay. That smoke's pretty bad. It gives them free teleporter control. You'd probably be smoking here. Oh, shoot. No. Watch. Watch. Watch your crosshair. Why are you flicking left when you shoot? This is really, 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 really bad technique. It's because you're, you have a bad habit of holding too tight too often that you almost always have to flick wide. You can't do this. You cannot do this. You put your crosshair where you think it has to be and you click. Thought she would have kept walking too, not gonna lie. Then pre-aim here. If you're gonna think she's gonna walk past the crosshair no matter what, because there's no reason, then we need to be pre-aimed there. And then it's fine, okay? So if you think the is gonna peek wide, or whoever's gonna peek, who is gonna peek wide, then hold wide. If you think they're gonna peek tight, then hold tight, okay? You don't do neither. You don't hold tight and then not trust yourself and second guess and then flick out. This is terrible. Wait, is that just a new home? Oh, get a oh, heal! Wait. Oh, wait. You, you Molly. I'm Molly Shower. <laughs> you just died. I don't have bomb. It's bombs out in the open. One enemy remaining. Lots of shower, shower. One HP. Or something. Careful, sure. Waiting for to go down. Here, I'll hold. 30 seconds left. Oh, Dude, this is like a fever dream. It's actually like a fever dream. Holy cow. Why, why, why are we peeking? 30 seconds left. Oh, And then you're like, oh, he's standing. Like, what? 30 seconds left. Oh, standing. You calmed standing, actually, is all that came through. 30 seconds oh, left. On top of the box is a short. Standing. But you calmed standing. See, you get one, you're low. You don't look for heal. You die, Cypher, you calm standing. Smoking hookah. Smoke's down. Come on. Hookah. Raises eye. Uh, Raisin Rena. And Hookah and Hookah. Cypher and Rena. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, I think you're, uh, you're, you're kind of missing the, the right mindset right now. It doesn't make any sense to me that you're trying to hold B after they got an A pick. Like you're throwing this Hookah smoke, bro, you need to be teleporting. If they got an A pick and you're putting up hella B resistance, they're just going to go A. Yeah, go back. There they go. There they go. Nice. Say like, why are you still looking long? Am I crazy? Apparently, I'm crazy. Brimstone is long. I would not be there, though. Play for showers. Bote, bote. I know exactly where you are. Spike planted. You're just playing so separate. One enemy remaining. Cypher? What? Right about you all. This is a pacifist run? Cypher? Raises out you all. Oh my god. <laughs> like the trigger discipline. Dude, your gunfights are just trash. I'm sorry, but you're not even... Half the time, the decisions aren't even that bad. But you don't win any gunfights. You've won uh, like one all Rainer's game, Rainer's which was on the arena coming at you out of like U-Haul. You have to click people to win in Valorant. Like, it would make sense that you get stuck around Ascendant, Immortal. 
Because that's when people really start shooting. Strategy only matters if you're on equal shooting footing. And you are not. Like if a 50-50 is not a 50-50, then strategy doesn't matter. If the odds of a 50-50 are 20-80 in their favor, then no amount of strategy is getting you to immortal. You can't get to immortal. Can you get to diamond? Yeah, probably. Platinum? F certainly. Gold? Absolutely. I want to see more right fights. Do you do the um do you do the aim last routine every every day? Again, X? Holy cow. The one that I, no? Why not? The one that I say everyone should do? Five days a week? If they want to get good at Valorant? It shows. <laughs> it shows. You're not confident and almost like rightfully so. Like look at that. You've got one bullet left. You had two free kills. This dude's reloading. This dude's not looking at you. And you used 14 bullets. And then you died. Because you had to reload. Because you used 14 bullets to kill two dudes who weren't even looking at you. Alright, one of them was looking at you. But they had to reload. What's the aim labs routine? I'm going to time you out if I can search Wuhujin aim labs and it's, and it's there. Oh, you're done for. Okay. <clears throat> I'm booting up Valorant. One moment, one moment, one moment. We we got to prove a point. A very important point. If you want to play something that purely rewards strategic outplay, there's a game called Chess, uh, a game called Go. And these games are very, very, very well designed for that. If you want to play Valorant at the highest level, strategy is very important. However... You're never going to get out of bronze if you can't click anybody. I could put the smartest heckin' brain of Valorant inside of my grandma's head and she would be stuck in bronze and iron because she can't click people. The reason why I say aim doesn't matter is I'm saying like don't focus on mistakes in your aim when you're doing VOD review because you should already be practicing your aim every day. It's like, imagine I was like your football coach, American football, and you like lose a play because you got like outstrengthed. Your Match coach is probably going to skip over that because you're already working out every day. So strength will come. Tough. Let's just talk about the strategy. That's the point of my VOD reviews. I really want to hone in the, on the strategic issues because that's what I'm good at. I'm a coach. You don't need me to teach you how to get good aim. I've already shown you. There's a hecking sick Warm playlist up. on my YouTube that I've worked with the best aimers in the world to create. I'm going to try hard one DM. One sec. No amount of strategy helps if I just click your ass. Like... What? What a dink. What's that killjoy gonna do, huh? She's gonna lose to me. Even if she outplayed me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Your strategy only matters if you can go toe to toe with me in a gunfight. And you can't. So what's the goddamn point? Doesn't matter. Trash. This guy can't even shoot me. I'm whiffing 50 shots in a row. Like, what are you doing? These people will never play ranked against me, even if they've got the same strategic mind, because they can't fight me. We'll go into 50-50s and I'll just kill them. You have to win your 50s 50% 50 of the time. I don't need you to hit every headshot, but I can't have you burning 14 bullets to kill two dudes who aren't even looking at you. And you know why you're not killing them? Because you're not practicing. You're ignoring your mechanics for no reason. You're just shoving them to the side as if they don't matter. They matter so goddamn much. You could put me in a lobby full of the smartest nine bronze players in the world and I could full autopilot and clap the hell out of them. PRX took this idea to the stream. Okay, I hate this narrative. Are PRX cracked as hell? Yes. However, if PRX just took pure solo queue strategy into professional Valorant, they would lose. Okay? I'm not saying strategy doesn't matter. PRX has hella, hella strats. They've got util combos. They've got sick coordination. They're just different. Uh, like Fnatic, they work as like a structured unit of all five players working together. 
PRX works in tiny groupings of like this three and these two working together, which is more like solo queue esque, but they're not W keying, okay? They're not W keying. Do they sometimes turn it on, like explode and it's crazy fast? Yes, yes. But if you think PRX isn't a strategic team, I don't know what to tell you. They're the most explosive team in the league, but they have strategy. Like we've seen them run crazy fakes. We've seen them run crazy coordinated setups. They have plans, okay? It matters. The problem is no amount of strategy is going to help you if you can't even win a 50. Because this this game is a statistical optimization game and it require the statistics of decision making in this game require like this ultimate truth to be true. You know, a 50-50 has to be a 50-50. If the odds of a fight is not 50-50, then the decision making tree that I preach is flawed. Because I say, oh, you've got numbers, you should both swing them. Because if you die, your guy gets the trade and we do the math tree and I'm like, it's plus 0.3. Well, if we resubstitute in into that equation, the odds of you winning the fight is 20-80, then it might even be bad to swing two versus one. And all of a sudden you get punished for making a good decision because your aim is trash. And the opposite can be true too. If your aim is like way too good for your rank, you can get rewarded for making bad decisions. And I just need you to have decent aim for your rank. And if you play my hacking, it's 30 minutes with rest. Rest is included. It takes 30 minutes total to play the playlist. Do it five days a week for like a few months. And I swear you'll be cracked if you're approaching it with the way that we tell you to approach it. Like I outlined everything for you, man. It could not be easier. I did everything like these are the best hacking aimers in the world who helped me build this it tells you how to approach each scenario why each scenario is in the playlist it tells you how long to rest for god's sakes i did everything for you everything we get, look the best aimers of the world were analyzing your vods to see the most common mistakes in aim to cater the playlist look how many people worked on this thing you do it in 17 minutes then you're an idiot i'm sorry but it's a 30 minute long playlist like why are you bragging about doing it wrong <laughs> like what what there's 18 scenarios in it each a minute long so at mo like we no some of these are more than a minute what are you talking about look it's it's me like, I put in so much work to make this thing for you guys. And then you bring me this trash where we can't even talk game theory because Watch you game. can't Watch click game. anybody. Smoke. Let's watch your gun fights. Nothing you hold. Right Imagine he one tap that guy right there. <laughs> like, look, they're not even looking at you. Three bullets. Last <laughs> Three bullets for the guy not looking at you, and of course you lose the 50-50. Blast it. Oh shit! Nothing to go. Reloading. What the fuck? Nothing to go. Why are you crouching? <laughs> <laughs> you were right on their head. Reloading. Habitual? Yeah, that's a problem. Raise back, say, raise Practice makes permanent, Aganax. If you're playing deathmatch and you're training that habit and not working on fixing it, it's going to be harder to fix later. The more you wait, the harder it's going to be. I'm just looking at his gunfights now, yep. chat. Here. Because it's brimstone bind. Oh, there is one thing I want to show, Take actually. Let's go to your brim all around. One you all. Oh, I hope you don't burn it. Oh. Holding out you all. Oh. Okay. There's a brimstone ultimate. The meta's shifting a bit. So you know the meta where you ult here, you run out, you flood, and you plant? Everyone knows this play. Um, the meta's shifting to be you ult here, and you smoke here and here, and you flood out this way. And it's mostly because... It turns out with the addition of this barrel and the change of the map geometry, this area is actually the hardest to contest on Bind by a lot. And Bench is actually really easy to contest. And so is U-Haul. U-Haul is actually not that bad. So you just tell your like entry fragger to buy a judge 
and take U-Haul. And then you ult back triple here. And you have your teammates come up to fight bench with you as you take showers. Can I prove to you that I can hit my shots in another VOD? What do you mean? Are you saying, I want to show you this VOD so I don't have to practice? Is that what you're saying? Because unless you're going to show me radiant aim, what's the point? But yeah, show me your VOD because your technique is shit. If you're hitting shots in this other one, you're getting lucky. Of course you can hit shots. Everyone can hit shots. Everyone has hit shots. Because the way you approach your fight sucks. All right, let's see. I'm in water. I'm lighting waterfall. Like yeah, you bossed that guy. Who's hey, having a pop off, dude? Gonna it's gonna, she's gonna flash it. Don't, don't try to pick out of it. He's definitely is... looking cleaner than the last. I've watched four rounds and we've seen one fight. We've seen one fight. Like the dude's got high confidence right now because he's top fragging. And we've seen one fight. Can we? I, I don't. Flash, flash. I don't see what he's talking about. I'm not gonna lie. Nice. Can we just take the? Uh, just take the. Just... Okay, so now we've taken two fights. One was good, and one was completely trash. Oh, are we finally getting a fight? Seven. 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 Oh, we died. Bro, GG. We lost the game. Okay, so I, I, I maybe my math is wrong. I counted three fifties since I skipped around. We lost two of them and we won one of them. Like, I'm sure. AJ? I'm sure. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I believe you that you have games where your 50s go 50% of your way. Okay? Because it's skill based matchmaking. Of course, you're going to face equally skilled opponents. And a lot of the time, you're going to face people with worse aim. It's just these people exist in Valorant, especially people who are like terrified of gunfights. The problem is, I'm, in visual, like, I'm visualizing you like going head to head against a potential like immortal player, and you're never. You're never winning. I'm looking for more fights. Nice. But you just didn't get any this far. All three. Oh, he's lit. Spike planted. I got a double VOD review. I just want to be sure, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Nice. You crowd spray every single fight, dude. Like, it's not just an aim thing, too. Your technique is exclusively crowd spray, and it leads to you converting fights that are close range. Like, the close range fights you win, the longer range fights you lose every time. You lose this long range fight, you lose this long range fight, you lose this long range fight, you win this close range fight. You win this close range fight. Your technique is trash. It's so bad. Yeah, this is the rare notes. I almost never point this out. Like I usually ignore this because you're supposed to be practicing your mechs anyways. And it's just boring to point out mechs because, you know, your mechs should get better. But I can tell you're not practicing them, at least not effectively. Do do gunfight technique is crowd spray every time. That's not good. Do do do. Aim is clearly polished. Please bring proof of do, do, do. five days a week. Come on. This is the third time who recommends mech practice? Probably more than three at this point. I've done a lot of VODs. Like, I've done a lot of VODs, but it's rare. It's rare because most people overemphasize their mechanics. Like, they practice more than they need to. And that's fine because it leads to uh, the problem almost never being their mechanics.